name is Ruben Pitchell. This is my Mesopotamia project. So I started this project. I thought that Sumer would be the easiest, but also the most clever. And so Sumer had walls that went around the entire city. These are the two rivers, because it's called Between Two Rivers. Um, this is the Tigris River. And over here is the Euphrates River. I add boats to the water because boats represent traveling and like kind of like being able to fish and transportation and this the Euphrates River and the Tigris River they both have a little canal that leads into a basin of water and this basin of water helps feed the fertile land the fertile land I have wheat pumpkins melon more wheat and then this is just dead grass because I couldn't find like tall grass um, so, Mesopotamia had a lot of livestock running around sometimes. They also had some controlled livestock. Chicken, sheep, pigs, that kind of stuff. And then the trees were for, because uh, Mesopotamia and Sumer, they both had, they were both, like, they both had trees and deserts. They mostly consisted of deserts, but they had trees and mountains, like, off to the side. This is the chariot, because... Um, Mesopotamians or Sumerians, they invented the wheel, and Minecraft doesn't have wheels, so I figured a horse and a horse, yeah, a chariot. This is the village house. It was a standard village house. Um, they had paintings and beds, so I placed a bunch of uh, villagers, which we'll see in a second. I can find one there. The villager, they walk around, they make a really annoying noise, but they walk around and they're the closest I can get to humans. So this is called soul sand and there's no clay in Minecraft, so I figured soul sand looked closest to clay. And this is our stables because horses were a big part of Mesopotamia because they use these for transporting, sending messages, hunting, all that good stuff. This is the well. The well has um, storage and all that for getting water instead of having to walk all the way, all the, all the, all the way over to the Euphrates or the Tigris River. That takes a long time. This is a quick way for people to get over and get water quickly. More forest area. This is the ziggurat. The ziggurat was their religious temple that they used for praying to the gods, commanding the gods, getting the gods to, like, asking the gods, praying to the gods, that kind of stuff. They also had, it had three levels, as you can see. Um, these three levels, uh, this one was kind of for praying and meditating. The second one's for the same purpose, right here. Second one's a little more roomy inside, but I don't know. And the third one is for praying to the gods. So they would take potatoes, wine, wheat, hay, chicken sometimes, that kind of stuff, and they would sacrifice it to the gods. Like, oh mighty gods, uh, please help the crops grow better. And then they would... And then hopefully the next day or the next 20 minutes or whatever, the gods would help that happen. Religion played a role in everyday Mesopotamians' life. Um, they had, they believed in many gods, including like Zeus and Hades and all that kind of people. Those kinds of people. <laughs> um... Mesopotamia was the site of several ancient river civilizations. So these civilizations were um, some of the first to kind of realize and to harness this land. This land is one of the most important discoveries in the world. And this had many, many, many wars. I think, I believe, eight wars between like Babylonians and 
the Sumers, and all the civilizations because this land over there, that fertile land, that like that increased everyday life. It made it so that, say, I was a mom, and that's my kid, and I need to cook for him, but my husband needed to get food from over here so I could have instead of ha him having to leave the civilization to get food he could actually just walk and let's see how long does this take me to walk from here so this is me sprinting but from here to here I think that took me in real life that would have been about 30 seconds Um, so Hammurabi was one of the many rulers of Mesopotamia, and he was actually the last ruler of Mesopotamia. He enforced this code of laws called Hammurabi's Code, and this code had many ways to be unfair and fair. So say a son hit his dad, his dad shall be, the son shall have his arms cut off, or say you steal something, you shall leave it be you the item that you stole should be returned and you will have 90 whippings with an ox whip or you can get thrown in the river if you don't get it back this is mesopotamia and i hope you liked it yeah